Okay, welcome to the video mill basic operation demo. And what we'll do is look at some basic editing and playback uh, controls. All right, to create a media list, basically open Windows Explorer, go to a folder where your videos are, and select the ones you want to include in the media list, and just drag and drop them into the uh, application. Okay, and we call these um, media items in our documentation and so basically each media item has a video file or an, a media file attached to it and then you set up all the attributes for that that item for how you want it to play back and these could be uh, videos audio files image files or text files so in the simplest case um, you basically s s select the target display. Um, the primary display is the uh, on the laptop, the, the laptop screen, uh, and the secondary displays are the external displays that you connect to the computer via HDMI or other display device. Um, so if you have multiple externals, uh, each one would be secondary one, secondary two, etc. So that's how you select the display you want to display this on. And then you select the mode, the size mode. Um, you can either go full screen, uh, display it at the natural media recorded size, or create your own uh, custom dimensions to display it. And then once you've set that up, all you do is click the play button. Um, and it's got the standard pause, resume, stop and there's a load button here if you want to preload the, the video file so that uh, there, there's no pause in in the file del, uh, loading now in the uh, play position readout progress bar here you can swap between um, time remaining in the video or current time position and let's look at the edit toolbar um, if you wanted to copy this this media item just uh, click the copy button paste you can see it made a copy of it with all all of its attributes and now you can have it they both point to the same um, uh, video file but they can have different attributes associated with, associated with them in terms of how you want to play it back and there are buttons here to, to move the item up or down in the list or to delete it now if you want to play a web-based video, uh, just click on the new media item icon that creates a new blank icon. And then come down here to this web link button, click on that. Um, you just paste in your, uh, your HTTP link to the web resource, click OK. And then when you play it, it'll play just like any uh, um, hardware-based file. Now you can use this uh, control panel toolbar here to hide or show any of these control panels over here. So for instance this play position uh, panel, if I wanted to hide it just double click on its associated uh, button and if I want to re-display it just click on it once, single click. Okay next I want to demonstrate how to coordinate multiple videos at once. So to do that, uh, I've created a media group which contains two of the videos and you can see basically here it's got this the first video and the second in the list. So that that constitutes the group. Now to use the group first you go to select the media group that you want to make current so we're going to use that one and then uh, put the program into uh, media group mode by clicking on this icon you notice the toolbars that respond to mode have been highlighted in this blue now to play the videos the two videos in, contained in that group just click the play button and I'm showing these on the primary screen just below the application for now but normally you'd, you'd be displaying these on a uh, secondary screen at full screen size um, so once they're loaded, I can pause both of them with one click, resume, or stop. So you can see that they're synchronized together.